It's one of the first cold snaps of the season and it's definitely a brisk morning, but I had to show you this Brugmansia. As usual, bought it on sale, uh, probably July. It was a little tired. We brought it back, gave it some fertilizer, and this is the second set of blossoms. And they won't be here long. Uh, when frost comes, they'll be gone. But we got through last night. We might go another two weeks without frost, if you can believe it. But these cool temperatures are perfect for all sorts of planting jobs in the garden. And that's what we're going to do first. Well, I've fallen in love again. <laughs> This is Pieris japonica fire and ice. Now I grow a lot of Japanese Pieris around the landscape. It's standard variety, just has green foliage, but then beautiful little bell-shaped flowers in April. And then the new growth is like a deep red. Well, this is a variegated foliage. And when I saw it at the nursery, I got it at Han Nursery, I, I just, I couldn't believe it. And they actually ordered me another one because there was only one left and somebody had uh, bought it. And so it was on hold. But I had to get this. Now, the number one thing when you're putting in a shrub in is to know how big it's going to get. Actually, last year, I laid this pot right in this hole here. This is a little standard variety of Japanese Pieris and forgot all about it. Found it about two months ago and it has bit the dust. I'm glad that one's not here because now I have the perfect spot for this. We know how big it's going to get. We also never want to plant it too deep. Always keep it right where it was at in the container. And I've already dug my hole with grandpa's tree shovel and we'll see where we're at. And it looks just about right. Back in the day, we used to add compost. We don't do that anymore. This is pretty decent woodland soil. This is an understory tree that loves woodland soil. We're just gonna put the native backfill in and then water it in. And water is the key for any new shrub or tree. If we don't get rain, you've gotta keep this watered until the ground freezes. We really want to soak it in, give it a good watering, not just spritz it. Well, as the season winds down, for some of my beds, what I do is plant this thing called a cover crop. And this is winter rye. Even though it's this late in the season and it's this cold, this will sprout into a flat bladed grass and it does a lot of things for the garden. It's basically a green manure that we're going to cut down and put on here in the spring. but during the winter, it will hold this good soil, this compost in place. You could lose up to a quarter of an inch over the winter due to erosion. And it's also a great habitat for beneficial insects. This bag was you know, two bucks. And so we'll scratch the seed in, it will sprout and do all those things I told you it would do. And the next job is the number one job in the garden, planting garlic. Can't wait. Garlic out of the garden is just like a tomato or anything else out of the garden. Nothing can compare to it. When you're planting garlic, and this is the prime time, you've got to use the right type of garlic. This came from a local grower, either a local grower or a garlic farm. You just can't go to the store and buy garlic to plant. It could be that it's not hardy. It could be sprayed with something to stop it from sprouting, which is not what we want for growing. And I've got a good bed of compost here. We're going to plant the cloves. We've split up the head into some nice cloves. Cloves are going to go about one to two inches down, about six inches apart, and then we cover the whole thing with a blanket of straw. And that straw is imperative. It, it's just, like I said, it's a blanket for the bulbs. And boy, I, I can't tell you how, how good it feels to be planting garlic. Another important thing is to rotate your crops, especially with garlic. Garlic is not affected by many pests or diseases, but the ones that do affect it are devastating. Nice thick layer. This will compress through the season. Be a great weed barrier in the spring also. Well, this might be the last rose of the season and I'm glad to see it end. Smell it. It's been a great season, but still lots to do. Planting bulbs, planting shrubs, trees, perennials, even some cool weather crops if you can get a hold of them. Now check me out online. That's where you can find lots of other stories, blog posts, videos. Until next time, there is so much to do. 
clean up what's left and plant what I can. We'll see you then. Mm. They call him Nosferatu, better known as Dracula. Van Helsing. And there's only one way to curb his thirst for blood, garlic. And it's yummy too. <laughs>